Hey everyone, I'm Aaliyah from Freebie Seals. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Easter because it's coming up and how to dye your eggs with Kool-Aid in order to save some money, um, how you should be boiling your eggs and what price point you should be buying your eggs at. So let's start with our eggs first, okay? So when you're going to go to the store during Easter time, a dozen of eggs shouldn't cost you more than 99 cents. So if your store has a marked higher than that, then you definitely want to go somewhere else or have the store price match for you. Uh, throughout the year, you're going to see eggs at $1.99, $2.99. Um, that's a lot, but once we hit Easter, all the stores drop them because they want everyone coming to their store to buy those eggs. So when you're out and about, make sure you only spend a 99 cents or less. Okay, and the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is making sure that you boil your eggs the right way. Have you guys ever like opened up your egg and it's gray inside, it's really, really ugly and it kind of tastes sulfuric? So if you overboil your eggs, that's what happens. So what I want to tell you guys is like the best, quickest, and easy way to boil your eggs. So you're going to take your entire carton of eggs, lay them on the bottom of your pan, and fill the water about an inch above the eggs. Turn it up as high as it will go, and as soon as it hits a rolling boil, that's when you want to turn off the heat, cover it, and set the timer for 10 minutes. You're done. After that, you can just run under cool water, put it in the fridge, whatever you want. But they are like the perfect yellow color. So if you're not doing that, make sure that you do so you have those really pretty eggs when you when you boil them. And, and just a little quick tip, if you are using a gas stove like I am, as soon as you turn off that heat, there's no radiant heat left underneath that pot. So you're going to want to turn it as low as it possibly can go and during that 10 minutes. And that way it'll keep cooking. And if you have an electric um, um, stove top, you won't have to do that. You can just turn it completely off. Okay, so now let's get to the fun part. This is the whole reason I wanted to do this segment for you guys because I want to talk about the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid packets, you might have seen this on Pinterest. It is one of the coolest things as far as dyeing eggs. It is cost effective. It's way cheaper than those Easter egg dye kits. Um, and if you guys can see the colors, they are gorgeous. And I only left these in for about 60 seconds. So you can see that I, I grabbed just a whole array of these. These are about 20 cents a packet at the store if you buy the Kool-Aid brand. But if you actually get the store brand, say like a, a Walmart brand or a Kroger brand, they're only 10 to 12 cents, which is a lot cheaper than a $2 egg dye kit. And it's a lot safer for your kids to use. I'm more comfortable letting them pour it in themselves and stir it because I'm not worried about the dye flinging everywhere and staining clothes and staining countertops and all that kind of stuff. So while I was there, I also thought, well, geez, if Kool-Aid can dye really, really well, what about the rest of the packets that we see there too? So I went and actually tested these packets as well. So if you see the Hawaiian Punch or the Crush or Jolly Rancher, these work just as well as Kool-Aid, but these are single serving. So if you see the single serving packets right here, you get about eight to, or six to eight in a package and they're a dollar. And you only need one of these. So you could use one or two for Kool-Aid and use the rest for drinking. So it's a really, really cost effective way to do your Easter eggs. And you can still do the normal things that you do. So like if you have been on Pinterest and you know, have you seen the rubber cement thing that people are doing, you can still do that with your eggs, with the Kool-Aid packets. It doesn't have to be anything special. So I wanna quickly show you. So these are just a few of the colors that I've used. So blue raspberry with Kool-Aid. I mean, look at that blue. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, and this has probably been left in for about two minutes. So that's a really pretty blue. And these are just some ex examples that I wanted to show you guys. Here's an orange one. So all I, all, I mean, it's super simple. It's just a quick, quick drop in and you just leave them in for as long as you want and the color gets as dark or as light as you want. Okay, so because I wanna make this super easy for you guys, you need to go to freebiestodeals.com slash Kool-Aid Easter on my website. And I will list every single Kool-Aid packet I've used and show you a picture of what color the egg comes out. So that way you know which packets and which names of packets you should buy at the store. And that should help you guys out a lot. And if you need more instructions on how to hard boil the eggs, or if you can't remember the price point I told you, all that information will be there too.